Yo, 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 you know what it is. We got another hot episode of Concealed Media, man. It's your boy, Dre. I got my sisters with me, as always, Ray, Dawn, and Teray. And we got a local motherfucking legend in the building, my hey. boy, Big Mo. What's up, local boy? Local motherfucking doing? legend. I like that <laughs> intro. <laughs> no, what's up, y'all? Yo? Very, very happy to be here right now. Very yeah, happy. Yeah, oh, happy to have you. Yeah, what's poppin', sure. y'all? Let's say, you know, we had to pull up on you. We Mo Weeks. Yeah. Everybody know now, Concealed Media can come to you if okay. you want to. Okay, <laughs> Not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. And it's a special treatment. Yeah. <laughs> you know Only for the for the OGs. Exactly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yep. Well, so I appreciate I appreciate y'all coming through, man. This is dope. I appreciate I'm it. I'm looking too. forward to this right here. This yeah, with us. Oh, nice. You heard, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Beautiful ass, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> you. It's all good. <laughs> So you were just telling us you was at Dreamville, you know, you was doing your thing. Tell us how that Yeah, how that so we were broadcasting live from Dreamville, uh, nice. 102 Jams. Um, 102 Jams. It was dope. Shout out to J. Cole. Right. Nice. Um, it's a big Carolina festival, 104,000 people. Come on now. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Dang, was that many? It was a lot. It was 52,000 both days. That's it was wild. crazy. Insane. It was crazy. Insane. Um, I Talked to a lot of artists, a lot of North Carolina artists, a lot of um, artists that's trying to get on, like some, a lot of them on Dreamville. Right. Yeah. And just talking to them, just chopping it up, and just letting people know, you know, what was going on out there. The food was incredible, but you, if you don't have at least like, hundred dollars in your pocket, <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need to go. You don't need to go. Don't need to go. <laughs> at all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, but everything was straight. The the person with the best performance was Sexy yeah. Red. What? We had the crowd. Now, why, in the why do hand. you say that? Are you saying based off of the crowd's reaction? Yes. Or, okay. And she had the crowd in the palm. She could have done anything. The yeah. crowd was with her. Wow. She had people, better than Nikki. She had better people than running what? to her. She yes. had people running to her. I forgot. So Nikki was out there too. She wow. Was an hour late. Yes, she an was. An hour late. Nikki was. Nikki was an yes. hour late. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. They kept the show going. Or yeah. 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 Okay. They didn't stop. We didn't, didn't stop. stop. Yeah. They didn't stop. But Nikki was an hour late. Then J Cole came on at nine thirty-eight. He was supposed to get on nine thirty. Oh wow. Nikki set to finish. Yeah. Okay. They cut her short. Nikki's. Nikki, yeah. Right, right. And she, she still put on a performance. Up fashionably late. Yeah. No. <laughs> she did really good, though. She did. Yeah. It was I worth saw the, the clips. Way. It was I saw the, the clips. The, the cool thing about the, the Dreamville and the artists, even 50 Cent, you yeah. forget how many hits, hits. people have right. got. Exactly. You know what I mean? 50, like, I would have been out there. No, no, no. Oh, it was lit. 50, I, I was going went. crazy. Like, everybody, everybody was like talking about how they weren't going to go. They were going to sell the tickets because he was coming. But it's like, in reality, people want to see Chris Brown. They want to see Chris Brown. Oh, they stuff the Uproar, yeah, right. they took Chris Brown off of 50. But yeah, honestly, I, I think they did it. I think that was a great decision. Uh, right. I mean, lit. who else you going to replace him with? You it was lit. Like, right. Come replace on, legend. Right. Legend, it was lit. Right. Exactly. It might be two different categories, but hey, right. still rocking. It's still rocking. <laughs> the only thing with 50 I hated, before he did In The Club, he did two songs. I was like, what the hell are these songs? Oh, <laughs> Almost put me to sleep. I don't know what the <laughs> hell are these songs. What am I supposed to say? And I'm a 50 Cent head, and I'm like. He had a in the new music. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, what's this new? Like. Yeah. That's funny. We're going for hits. Exactly. It was fun. It was a good experience, man. And uh, every year we're going to do it. Like any big festival in North Carolina, I make sure that my station's there. Let's That's go. Cool. We love to hear it. Love any, anywhere 102 is, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Got for you. sure. So I have a question for you. Um, what do you think sex radio apart from other forms of um, media platforms? Question. Mm. Well, all right. So... When I started radio, and this is, I'm old, when I started Radio 99, 99. I got the jams in 02, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, sex wasn't really a big deal because nobody knew what the heck you look like. You know what I mean? Like, you just do whatever. Like, I, we've had some, I ain't gonna tell you their names, but it's been some. <laughs> <laughs> it's been some hurt looking people I've seen yeah. in, in the beginning, right? Get into it. No, okay. no, 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 I ain't gonna say the names. I can't do that. <laughs> get into it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but now with social Anonymous. media, you have to not, you know, you gotta kind of look the part now. Yeah. But you also gotta sound the part. Correct. Yeah. People still not seeing your face when they're in the cars. That's true. Yeah, that's when they true. look for you on social media, they're like, oh, damn. Right. She look like she good. Right. Good, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. So yeah. I remember uh, when we, when I got Roxy out there. Roxy does our morning show. Uh huh. Nice. Nice. Roxy. And uh, you know, people always think that Roxy don't look good because they don't follow on social media. Right. But then when they see, they're like, "Oh well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. not, we thought we you didn't know, know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Two girls got masks. You know, got them. No, for sure. <laughs> but in so, but with social media, I influence my jocks to make sure that they heavy on it. You nice. know what I mean? But I don't want them to be showing their bodies. I don't want them to be like showing like be like too much. Right. Yeah, they right. they nice. ain't gotta do all that. It's still media at the end of the yeah. day. You know right. what I'm saying? That's what yeah. you're in it for. for so sure. you know, I don't I don't want 
our listeners to be like, well, the only reason people like her is because she always showing her boobs on mm-hmm. social media. You know? Right. Like, I don't want that. You know? Right. I, mean, yeah. I want them to like them because of how they entertain you on the radio. On their personality. Most definitely. Yeah, exactly. Most definitely. Exactly. You know what I mean? And okay. so you've been with 102 Jams, you said, since 2002? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Yes, ma'am. So I started doing overnights. Oh, well, excuse me. Okay, so this is this how it all worked out. So I started WNAA Aggie Pride. Okay. Uh, A&T Station. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I, I know I know Winston. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's hey, just I'm Aggie Pride. Aggie, and I'm from Winston. Hey, I, I with Aggie. Aggie. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> comes <laughs> on campus <laughs> with Chiho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody comes with Chiho. Yeah. So I started there, and then Terrence J. Okay. Uh, we yeah. And worked together at WNA. Nice. And then he came over here the jams before me okay so he used to just tell people about me you know mm-hmm. just out of love like that was a cool dude right. nice yeah. so next thing you know terrence got me a interview with a, a music director here at the time okay. right so I, I i went to the interview and i'll never forget this <laughs> till i die he said mo you will never ever make it in commercial radio what? The director? Yep. Say that right to my face, right? Wow. That's so crazy. crazy. Early in the game. Yeah. Too early, son. You know. What? And I and I could have quit. I yeah. could have said, man, forget this. I'm, right. I'm done, I'm right? Crying. I'm not. But something told me not to quit. Right? Yeah. Something in me, right? What I, is he doing now? You don't got to tell the name. But he, he he used to program other stations across the country, but now he doesn't do anything. Okay. Ah, well, there okay, there we right. go. Carry on. So, carry on. Now you yeah. right. on. So okay. then, right. Carry on. So yeah. one day, tap <laughs> tap money and Kyle Santillian heard me. These are legendary mm-hmm. names of y'all. They really yeah. are. I've been these niggas since yeah. I was little. <laughs> Real. So then Tap was like, Tap took his position, the guy that told me that I would never do anything. Oh, wow. Love this. Love this for him. So then <laughs> Tap called me. Yeah. Tap made me sit in the studio his whole shift. He did not talk to me, not one time. What? So I'm like, okay, what oh, kind no. of interview is this? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Right after his shift is done, he's like, yo, come to my office. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to get the same spill. Uh, the other person told yeah. me. Yeah. Right. He's yeah. like, yo, when can you start? Aww. And I was like, okay. So I started. <laughs> so I, that's how I got Yesterday. part time. Yesterday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hello. So that's how I got part time. And I did part time for two years. So I finished school. I graduated college. Nice. Okay. Amazing. So my goal was, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go home to New York. That's where I'm from. from oh, Harlem. Okay, from New York. Yep. Oh, you're from yeah, I'm from home. Wow, with yeah. the accent. It's a little I can there. never lose it. Yeah. I can never lose yeah. it. Yeah, I was like, it's not giving Man. South. Yeah. No, definitely not from the <laughs> South. Yeah. So my goal was to move back home, live with my dad, get on Hot 97, know I was going to be oh, the shit, work with yeah, Funk yeah, Flex yeah. and all yeah. that. Right. And then Brian Douglas, who is the program director, he was above TAP. I've heard that name. Yeah, he, he started Jams. Mm-hmm. Brian Douglas started That's, Jams okay. back in 92, 93. Yep. You know what I mean? So he came to me, he was like, hey, man. I know you graduated. Do you want to have a full time gig? Absolutely. Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. He's sure. Like, well, what about you never asked? <laughs> right. So he gave me he gave me overnights. Nice. So I'm thinking like just twelve to six in the morning. Right. So I'm like, all right, I just gotta do this for like four or five years. And yeah. Move on. Right. I did overnights for eleven years at one. Wow. Nice. Eleven years. Nice. And so. Is overnights is that considered like an entry level thing? You like can say you that. said, okay. Mm-hmm. And, and, and ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. And no, but people are I'm listening. People are like, listening. Like a lot of people work third shift. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, they're listening. Yeah, like right. I used to give away mad tickets on overnights For sure. and everything. Yeah. Like back then, like no people didn't have the aux cords to like oh, radio yeah. stations. Right. Heavy. Yeah. Right. You know, right. you're gonna be listening and to if the they radio. Did, I mean. I feel like radio was very popular. Back oh, yeah. And yeah. it was so crazy that people listen to me today and they still bring up the skits I used to do on overnights. Oh, yeah. Wow. That I used to yeah, do yeah, yeah. shout outs. I used to have Black <laughs> Moses. Nice. Like everybody always talks about fun. those guys. Aww. I had a whole nice. lot of fun. Yeah. Yes. You know? That's how you do it. And so when, when I was doing overnights, I kept thinking, okay, look, I just don't want to be a, a personality. I want to learn everything about radio. Okay. So I used to be on the streets nonstop, and this is how I learned how to do music. Okay. And so Tap Money at the time was the music director. He made me do the uh, request of people. So I had to tell you all the request on Monday. Okay. And then every Monday morning, we would have a meeting, me, Tap, and Brian, and some of the DJs. We'd discuss what songs we need to add, what songs we need to drop, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Did that every Monday. Now, remind y'all, I didn't have no day off. I worked literally Monday through Sunday. Oh, man. Yeah. And come in Monday. Monday was technically my day off. Yeah. But, but you still was here. I was here <laughs> during the meeting. You know what I mean? And did that for seven years. You were wow. dedicated. You know what I mean? Monday through Sunday. 
So then, thank God, tap left. <laughs> <laughs> So they <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you please I leave, my man? <laughs> Get another right. position, please. Right, please. Right. So tap went on the favor to become the oh, program director. But you know what's so crazy? <laughs> Brian, at the time, he didn't just hand me his position. Mm -hmm. I had to fight for that for a year. Mm -hmm. Even though I was coming in every Monday doing what I needed right, to do, right. I still had to fight for that. Oh, so then that's how I got off of overnights. I did middays and um, been doing middays ever since. Okay. And then Brian, 12 o'clock, about three, yeah, about three <laughs> years ago, Brian was like, hey, man, I'm about to give you this position. But the reason why he gave me the position was because I had other. Uh, Radio stations looking at me. Uh, I had New York looking at me. Oh. And it it came down between Raleigh and here mm. to program. Yeah. Right. And so I had to go with Greensboro for sure. You know, for yeah. all the years I worked, I was like, well, y'all gonna have to bid for this shit. Right. Because no, <laughs> right. I, I put in my damn time. You know what I mean? And as you should. So they, they, Odyssey, 102 Jams won the bid, and I've been programming for three years. I'm glad they did what they were supposed to do, because uh, they really? better have run that bid. Yeah, <laughs> the they had to run that, and then the contract got out, too, just to let you know. That's right. The contract got out in December. So it's time to yeah. renegotiate. Right, right, I love right. renegotiations. Yeah. I love that. Please. Yeah, no, but yeah, for real. Thank you. Yeah. You know, but that, that's basically the story of 102 Jams, man. It just, what I love about it, I love listen, I love music. I love I breaking you. new artists. Okay. I love breaking Carolina artists. You know right. what I'm saying? It's been a lot yes. of artists that I've broken in this. I mean, from the baby to Jake. We were the first station ever to play J. Cole's song. Yeah, uh, in, yep. yep. in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. In rotation. Yep. Yep. And Cole remembers that. So Aww. every I bet time, he does. Every He's time he make sees sure me, I bet he does. It's a big old hug. Yes. Yeah. Like the reason that we saw our broadcast a lot was because of J. Cole. Cole. Because his first Dreamville, we wasn't there. Right. right. And then. Um, I called Cole. I was like, Cole, but his manager at the time, and then Cole came on and talked to me. Got you. And Cole was like, wait a minute. You telling me y'all not broadcasting live and we doing the Carolina Festival? Right. Come on now. And then like, everything why not? else is history. So now we broadcast like, live. And now you ain't missing it. Come right. on now. Come on, man. You can't, because a lot of, uh, some artists, I ain't going to say, uh, some artists forget who started them, but a lot of artists, especially in the Carolinas, know that everything started here at Jams. Right, Because yeah. everything starts here at Jams. Everybody follows. Right. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So, That's true. Literally, I literally had a meeting with someone before here today with y'all. Mm -hmm. And it was a new artist named Lil Zach. He has a song called Go oh, that's I'm, starting to like, really Zach. move right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. I and, see him in your search bar. I like him. Yeah, he's a good guy. And he's a cool dude. What, how do you feel about them stating that he has like the hottest record in North Carolina? Well, from what Deron and uh, CDK and all these other DJs They ain't lying, told me, right? They're not lying. That's <laughs> one song if you play in a club. Everybody's going Don't go. Yeah, like, the song's everybody. been out a year. I didn't even know the song's been out yeah, that been long. Yeah, it's been out for a minute. Yeah, so he just now he just now realizing the importance of radio now. Right. So right. that's why we had a meeting. Shout out to Wally Dude too, because he was there, and we were just trying to explain to him. I like, look, man. Once I play your record. All the Carolinas start playing it. Yeah, exactly. a lot of people don't know Carolina. North Carolina got the most urban stations in the country. Can I say what? So, North yeah, Carolina does. North Carolina got the I'm most stations in the country. That's interesting. I love this for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. Carolinas is where it's at. That's why a lot of records has to get broken to Carolina before New York, Atlanta, and see else. that's what Chuck T was just talking about. You mm -hmm. know how a lot of artists come here to get their uh, records broken, that's and right. how they go through that. That the um, path here. of right, they do the media run. They hit right. Greensboro, Fayetteville, Greenville, Raleigh. Charlotte. You know, yeah, they hit they have to. South Carolina, Greenville. You know, mm -hmm. um, and so a, yeah, a lot of Atlanta artists been doing they the do same thing for years. Yeah, because a lot of Atlanta artists, Gucci, Nikki, they don't. And Nikki used to be down here. I know, to, a she lot. She used to work here. Yeah, mm -hmm. with Chop House. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, shout out to Fendi, because Fendi yep. got yeah. on her locker. Correct. Definitely. And a lot of Atlanta artists will definitely come up here. That's how they get their bags up here in North Carolina. But they, they, have, they need the right us team. to start it. They need yeah. us. Right. That says a lot about the North Carolinas. Carolina, you yeah. know. Well, the Carolinas, correct. Mm -hmm. The Carolinas. Everybody thinks it's Atlanta because Atlanta's the big city. But, but it's, it's not. That exactly. The Carolinas is where records get broken. It's interesting. So you saying that, so... First question is, do you feel like radio has made a resurgence? Because like you say you had to tell it wasn't like little yeah. Zach. They're like, oh, nigga, you still need the radio. I always tell people like this. Okay, you have your NBA young boys. You have your, uh, you have these internet artists, right? Blues. Right. It's categories. Like that. That, that they could get you in the house of blues, which is cool. It's three to four or 5,000 people. That's mm -hmm. nice. But if you want to make the Coliseum and the football stadiums like Beyonce and Drake, Mm -hmm. And Got make that big millions of dollar money. Radio for sure. Radio. 
Because that's who's that's what people listen to every day. At first, radio did take a downfall, especially with COVID hit. And radio oh, took a downfall, right? You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but it's slowly coming back, and really, it's came back because the streaming and what the R's are realizing, the streaming can't just get it's you not all enough. that money. It's not enough money mm-hmm. because the labels are going to take your streams from you, and that money is going to the labels. Absolutely. So that means the artists are the ones that yes. need to go ahead and get into these clubs and these venues exactly. to make their money, but they need the radio. So to people go go here and the you really do need the radio. It. Yeah, you should be yeah. locked in with the DJs. You should also be locked in with the radio. Relationships well. is key. Absolutely. Relationships, Relationships is, key. is key. And I got a lot of artists that look, look, start to love me, mm-hmm. but then as soon as they make it, mm-hmm. I don't Everybody hear from, hear from them. Deuces. And then I see them at the BET Awards or something. They're like, yo, Mo, what's hey. good? You know, I got this new single out. Right. Now you're my friend again. Now you know. Right. Oh, okay. okay. Right. See, that's the thing. Like, I always saw us, I never need you. You're going to need me before I ever and need you. And these are facts. Right. I mean, it's just real, is what real it is. Real quick, but speaking of the BET Awards, mm-hmm. um, back in 2020, you got, um, you received a plaque for, um, what is it, BET Awards Radio Room? Yeah, well, let me tell you about that. Okay? Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. That wasn't really a real award that I won. They oh. just, I just saw that little BET award, <laughs> and I took a picture with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't win that. So it go. just looked like I won something. Hey, it's all about appearance. I was going to say that award because, winning. honestly, it's one of those things where, like, you kind of fake it till you make it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what people, that's what you got to do anyways. You know what I'm saying? Artists should be... People be afraid to go up and walk up and take pictures with people. Like, that's what people want to see. Like, me, if I come to somebody's page, even if you don't have a song with them, if I see that you got a little motion, you might got some pictures or something mm-hmm. with somebody, it's going to make me want to tap in with you just a little bit more just to see right. what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's probably what you have people doing. They're like, oh, this man got them BT Awards. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, nah, I, I literally just saw the award and just took the picture. But that was a good point because me and J. Cole are super cool. That's my man. Right. right. He doesn't like taking pictures. Like, he doesn't. He took a picture of my man CDK because CDK was just, he really wanted a picture. If you see the picture, J. Cole's literally standing there like, nigga, I do not, 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 like I want, to, I do not <laughs> want to be here right now. All the time. He's always in Raleigh and Fayetteville all the time. He's super cool, but he doesn't want pictures. He just yeah. he just wants to be a normal guy. And I respect that. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Like, you can't be a normal guy, J. Cole. Seriously. He can't, but he like, really wants to. Or apologizing, J. Cole. And think about it. J. Cole, like, <laughs> he's a little <laughs> different, too. He's, a, he's real different. Like, the nigga apologized. Over a rap beat, right, and the right. lyrics was really good. Like, right, like nobody was expecting that. No, like, he probably like, damn, I went too hard. Like, and he he just doesn't want that drama. He doesn't right. want that. Right. Stardom. That's his name, his name. Like, yeah. He doesn't want people to like look at him like that. Like, mm-hmm. that's not who J. Cole is. He's a very humble guy. Mm-hmm. He is. He's really humble. He's the definition and he of doesn't, your business. Yeah, he just doesn't want to be seen. But it's some artists that wants to be seen. So right. some artists that want you to take right, pictures, right, or they use that as a you know opportunity to. Get more exposure right. or like, clout or whatever. And I think I've been more of, because I've met so many people, mm-hmm. right. like, I always forget to ask him for a pic. I just be just talking to him. <laughs> like, moment. like, me and the baby, like, that's my guy. Like, he right. literally could drive down here to Greensboro. We'll just chop it up in my office. Right, right, and right. There's no picture needed. It's just me and him just talking. Right, right, right. You know what right. I mean? So how do you, how, because on one hand, you know, you don't, you know, want to be too extra or you're not really pressed about taking pictures. You don't think of taking pictures of because you're time. you're in this. But then on the other hand, we talked about social media and kind of needing mm-hmm. to have that presence or whatever. So, like, you know, how do you balance or find that middle ground or what do you that's think just, is a good balance? Man, that's a good question, man. I think it's if it's an up-and-coming artist, and if, they, if the artist asks to take a picture, I would say sure. Whatever. Right. But me... Just, I'm always so focused on just programming the station, what's coming next for the station. I always just forget about it. Even at the BET Awards, right? Yeah, there'll be now, that's so, where you should, right. There'll be so many artists. And the thing about it, the, their manager or their rec, um, the record rep has to remind my, hey, Mo, get a picture. It's not me saying, I'm right, a picture. I want a picture. Right. They're like, come um, on, Mo. Unless <laughs> if I see Jay Z, Beyonce, then I'm gonna be like, hey, Jay, <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I ain't got no pictures. Uh, I'm like, right. 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 Right.
didn't even think about asking for a picture. You were just, right. just in a moment. We were just talking. Right. You know so do you, do you feel like, well, do you, have you ever thought about having like an assistant or like a social media marketing manager or something like that? Yes. To uh, kind of help assist you with stuff like that? I have, I have not, right now I got three. I got Ashanti, I got um, Anissa, and I got Maya. Okay. So I have three of those people like, like Dreamville, Why they not so here? always take. No, I'm just kidding. I, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> when I um when I go out and about, just because of the um what you call it, um us because you never know who you're gonna run into. Right. I have them there with me so they could take the pics. Exactly. And I could go and put on social media, right. put on like jams and nice. all that stuff. Because me, I'm always running around. Right. So you're not I'm thinking happy. about yeah. that. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just no, trying to make sure up. everything sounds good. You're exactly. you'll be working. So. Yeah. Well, that's good that you have that help because yeah. We actually, uh, we in the process of hiring an intern as Ooh. well. So if any of your people okay. mm -hmm. got hey, some I, people. Can I check their resume? Sure. I've got a lot of stories about that as well. The <laughs> interns of 102 Jam. Oh, yeah? Like, you know what I'm saying? Give us your Man. best one. Give us your Man. best intern Man. story. Okay. Yeah. No I ain't got to share no names. No, no, no names. names. No names. Anonymous. No face, no face. So we <laughs> had, you remember this artist named Day Day? He had that uh, song, yeah. What's Your Name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that so song. So we had a jam, we had a jams lounge. It was mm -hmm. back there in the back. Um, I remember. Y'all were doing the little, like, meet and greet. Yeah, we thing. do the meet and greet. Yeah. That's what Cardi B, Cardi B came up here, did the nice. same thing up yep, here, too. Nice, yep, yep, yep. So Day Day was performing. He performed for the for the people mm -hmm. back there. So the after that, he was going to the club that night, mm -hmm. right? So next thing you know, we 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 at the club too because right. we had to be there. Right. So he gets out of his truck, and three of our intern girls get out the truck with him. Oh lord! Fired on the spot. <laughs> like that was all. That, is, that was said all. Fired his. on the spot. And the girl had this skimpy ass outfit on, like, just ready. Looked, like ready. Ready. Hey, I hope y'all knew interns are the She was not ready to work. Nah. At all. Ready to so twerk. Did did yeah, no, that's what it sounded like. Ready so did y'all really fire on the spot? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Sure. That was her last day. Sorry, right? Yeah. Well, her yeah. last yeah. night. That was right. it. Last <laughs> night. All we had to see was that. We was like, yeah, yeah the focus back is no more. not where it needs oh, to be. No, you getting out the truck with the artists. No, artist, not at all. Not at all. And that's what you got to be careful of when you get these interns and people that just, they say they want to do radio, but as soon as the intern comes out here, Oh, let me get my let me get a picture with this. Let me do this. Let me do that. Right, you. right, right, right. And yeah. that would be opportunity be for out. stuff like that. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? But you just got to just wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Because opportunities do come where you can take a picture. You might can grab some content and stuff like right. that. But just wait. That's not what we're doing right now. Right. You know? It's not a professional. part of your job is to hold your composure. Yeah. yeah. It has to, you know, you have to be somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And it's not professional for your ass to come out not with at a all. skimpy ass skirt on ready, not at ready all. with an artist. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you just started. Come on now. You just yeah. started. What are you she doing? got what she wanted, I guess. Maybe. I, maybe at the end you know of the night. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess. I'll never find out. <laughs> So, what is a typical day? What is a typical day for um, you here at one of the jams? All right, well, right at six a.m. Which 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 day you want? Monday or Tuesday no, or Wednesday? Three a.m. No, nah, I don't start that early for me. Huh? Okay, Roxy, Roxy be trying to get me to come in here at six in the morning. It oh yeah, no, it ain't happening. Break it down, like give um, us a couple of days. All right, so on Mondays I have my music meeting. So Mondays I get here about eight thirty. Okay. I record my show every month. First of all, Monday through Friday, I record my show. Okay. okay. Because I can't be in there live twenty four seven because you stuff be having be stuff to do. Got yeah. you. So you record your you pre record your I show. I pre record my show. Ooh, I nice. yeah. like that. Yes and no. Yes I, and no. I like to be in there live mm -hmm. a lot because I grew up on jam doing, doing live. True. Yeah. So it was raw. Right. True. Yeah. 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 And this one with, with voice tracking, it's not as raw to me. It's raw when I get to talk to the listeners if they win some tickets. I got to right. be in there for that. Right. But I miss that aspect of being live. But I just can't be because you got it's motion. only me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I got to, you know, Mondays is music day. I got to decide what music we're going to play on the radio for the rest of the week on rotation. Mm -hmm. And then I may have a meeting with the Urban Programs of Odyssey. Odyssey is a 102 Jams company. That's the company uh, heard, yep, under. Yep. Okay. So we may have urban meetings on every Monday about mm -hmm. music. So basically, Monday is usually just music day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just got three, maybe three or four different meetings. Mm -hmm. Then I finally get to go home. <laughs> Depending, sometimes it's 3 o'clock, sometimes it's 6 o'clock. Right. It all depends what time I could go in and get my job done. Got okay. you. Then Tuesdays is writing promo day. Okay. So all the promos that you hear, um, I, I type them all up, try to make it 
fun and, and entertaining mm-hmm. as much wow. as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to Maya. Maya helps me with that aspect of shout out to Maya. the station yes. sound good like that. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of writing. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. And you know why I got on the radio? I didn't think it was a lot of writing. writing. Right. Okay. I thought it was just talking. Thought I thought it was just <laughs> talking. <laughs> talking and doing music. So it's actually more writing. Man, it is way more writing than I was thought. Wow. So are, y'all, like, are y'all typing things out? Or are y'all doing voice over Typing it thinking? out. And the thing is, I'm typing it out, saying it the way he says it, the, our voice man who's milk. Oh. So I'm like, he's going to say it like this. And sometimes I have to literally tell him, say it like this. Okay. So it can be right. So it makes sense. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a lot of writing in this. Wow. Shit. Did not know. And then usually I have meetings with my staff on Tuesday, air check okay. meetings, make sure they're sounding good. Right. Okay. Uh, then Wednesday, we have our company meeting with basically the general manager our uh, sales manager and the program directors here. Because we have QMG in here. We right. have the Wolf. And, right. I, mm-hmm. and we have Simon. Right. So we have all different program directors. So we all come in here on Wednesday morning okay. and discuss what we got coming, okay. coming up and what sales is looking for as far as what they want us to do. So okay. how, do you, how does that, like, you know, like how do y'all counter... Like work together, or like, what's the crossover between um, stations? Like that y'all would have to meet. Like, what are y'all meeting about? I mean, I'm not trying to be nosy. Nah, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I say that every Wednesday. <laughs> I swear to God, like I talk about we just time. talked <laughs> about this last Wednesday. We're gonna talk about it again it's this like, Wednesday. Do we have to keep meeting? Like, I got the same <laughs> shit going on. I told I'm you just last week. I'm real. just trying to help you. Well, me, me, and Sean, who's the program director at Simon, we say that shit every Wednesday. Like, my God, like we don't have nothing to talk about. We don't have anything. Thing new, right? you know I was wondering, like, month. where did the crossing, like, we'll where did it come in? Like, oh my god, it's you just worst. answer my question. Yeah, so it's the word. Like, I'm telling you, like, even this morning, right? Yeah. I came in there and I was like, bro, like. <laughs> It is Wednesday. It is, right? It's Wednesday. I don't. We just did Dreamville. Right. I guess I could go and talk about that. Right. So, uh, that went. Right. Uh, we got Spring Fling Friday. I already told him that last right, Wednesday. Right. But right. But you got to tell him again. Tell him again. Right. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. <laughs> and then oh, I threw in something new. We got Mix Squad Takeover Memorial Weekend. Okay. So I threw in something new. Right. That, right. That something new that they ain't heard right. yet. So I got to try to make up some shit as I go <laughs> every Wednesday morning. It's the worst. Oh man. But when I mean, usually my days like Wednesday and Thursday. No, excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday, it depends on the writing. I can usually get out of here about, about 3 o'clock. Okay. But again, but I never it's stop because I still have to program when I get home. Oh, wow. So what I like to do, if I can, I try to take a, like a little hour and a half nap. I'm a nap man for real. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's right. The me naps too. is, oh, my yeah. God. I love a good nap. Me too. Ooh. Not going to lie. I take naps in the car on my lunch break, Sandy. Yeah. Yeah. I oh. get into it. Because <laughs> that 30 minute, that 30 Baby. minute, boy. Man. Man. How long a 30 minute nap man. is crazy. Yeah. Woo! But <laughs> but real. the only problem is sometimes I have so many people calling me, mm, texting me. D&D. 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 I don't get time to enjoy my nap. <laughs> Definitely got to you know D&D. what I mean? Got to start doing D&D. Right, you know? right. Yeah. So, but what I do is that when I get home about 5, 30, 6 o'clock, I turn on jams. Okay. And I'll start programming the music. So, Because okay. nice. I got to program the music every day. So, every, right. everything you hear, the way it's set up. That's how I set up. Okay, so that's why we hear the same song every real. Real quick, though, definitely will. Like, what what song um, are people? What song is like people calling in the most? Yeah, what's the most right now? Yeah. Mm, Honestly, y'all. People don't request songs on no more. They don't. Mm. So you're just kind of crazy. People actually like call if they want to win tickets. Right. And there's a lot of them. Right. But yeah. when it comes to requesting songs, they're not doing that as they're much. They're not really doing as much. Because you know why? Because now they can go hear it anytime they want to. Uh-huh. Because I was a requester. I used to Me request too. the hell Me out too. of a song. I requested on K97.5 a lot because I'm yes. from Raleigh. So I would call in after school and be like, hey, can you please play this? Right. Song? Do, y'all right. Remember, do y'all remember <laughs> the first song y'all ever um, requested? Do y'all remember that one? Okay. I think mine was. I would have to think. Mine might have been Justin Bieber. I was a huge Bieber fan. Okay. I think mine was. I'm not mine was, uh, I'm I'm not not mine was uh, <laughs> I was a huge Bieber fan. Juvenile. Juvenile. What's yeah, one? probably. Um, um, that, that I like it like that. She <laughs> slow motion. Oh, slow motion nice. for me. Slow motion. Nice. Slow motion. So this, nice. this, this how old I am. Don't right. That's how old he is. Slow no, motion. No, no. <laughs> the first song I ever requested was LL Cool J Around the Way Girl. Wow. wow. But I, I waited by the radio yeah. for at least three hours right. for my song. To play. And it never played. It I never got played. so mad. I was so yeah. mad, bro. 
Oh, I was so mad. Like, yeah, we got you, bro. That's yep. exactly. <laughs> we got they you. Keep listening. Playing, you keep never listening. Right. Keep listening. Oh, so I was you like, know, we got one listener today. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? <laughs> well, I got in the radio. I did the same shit that yeah. he did to me. I'm like, oh, this is how this works. This is great. Because you can't just add it in there and you got to go down that list. And it's pretty too, I used to hear good. my songs though. That's yeah. messy. But oh. it could have been that they was already. It was going to taste it. It was gonna play anyway. Yeah. And then probably put your voice on the radio right. before the song. Right. Right. Yep, right. yep, yep. You know what I mean? That's that, that's uh, I used to want to hear my my voice. Yeah. So that yeah. Is hilarious. And a, another thing I used to do when Kyle <laughs> Santillian was doing nights on 102 Jams, he would do this thing where he wanted guest DJs. So you mm-hmm. call in the station yep. and become yep. a guest DJ. Yep, I remember that. And so I never forget this. I did. I forgot what song I brought in. Yeah. And then I said one or two jams at the end. After it got done, Kyle was like, "Hey, y'all, I don't know who this is, but you need to be doing radio." What? He didn't know it was me. Know <laughs> and I to, every time I, to, I told oh, Kyle, that's so I told cool, Kyle, yo. yep, and he that's started so laughing. Cool. And me and Kyle, it's crazy. Me and Kyle, are good friends. Right, like, right, right, we right. literally just got the phone today. Like, that's my guy. <laughs> that is mm-hmm. so cool. So, when it comes to like uh, the other hosts and stuff, do you guys have uh, well the personalities? That's what y'all call mm-hmm. right? radio personalities. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have like close relationships outside of the? Um, yes. Studio? Well, all right. So not too much. Before before <laughs> before like I came stupid. before I became a boss, right? Mm-hmm. I could, we all hung out, you know, did different things and right. stuff like that. <laughs> I already I, know where this is going. When I became a boss. Oh, right. Okay. Not okay, not okay. just a boss, their yeah, boss. Their they boss. didn't want to hang their out. They boss. didn't want you to know what was going on. Like that's But that's common though. Yeah, I mean, no, like, let's yeah, be yeah, honest. Like, you they didn't want you to get it. I, if I gotta make the I gotta make the tough decisions. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be Best buddy, of friends buddy. with somebody. No, no, you're not. Right. Their, their numbers come out bad right. and it stays bad for a whole year. I got to make the tough choice to let them go. You got to let them go. go. So yeah. are you saying that becoming um, the boss changed yes. the dynamic of your oh, relationship? Me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it had to. It had you to. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at first, you know, we could hang out, smoke, we do whatever mm-hmm. we want. Can't do that no more. No. So I'm like really too we got We got the memo because, you know, we normally drink. On our show, right? Yeah, I don't drink. But no, right, you don't that's drink what I'm No, I don't drink at all. You never drink. Wow. No, I no. When I was high school, college. college. That's what I, I said drink. anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't, okay. I, don't, I don't smoke weed. I don't do none of that. Gotcha. You know okay. Saying, but you're focused. But you used to. Really focused. Yeah. So how do all you? The time. What is it like now? You know, like well, first getting out of it, stop smoking, and like how. How did that help you? Well, at first, the reason I stopped smoking. Why did you do it? Because yeah. I played football for okay. AT. Okay. And so Coach Hayes wasn't playing that shit. He uh, was the one us uh, ragged. Uh, and, and, you know, smoking weed yeah. messes up your lung. Yeah. And you can't really oh, run. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know it what, nigga? can't slow you down. Yeah, I'm like, I can't do this shit no more. All right. I, I got to stop this. <laughs> Right. So that's what got me to stop. The, the the drinking, I got really drunk one day, mm-hmm. like super drunk. Where I don't know where my car went. Nothing. Oh wow! Like that drunk. And right. I was like, you, you know, know what? Sad. That's what that's called. This and that was the last. Time. That was the last of that. Okay, you know I, mean? I ain't mad at you. So if I do drink, it may be like social, a little, very light, but very light, like a beer. A beer, Take if more. that. Uh, right. <laughs> no liquor. Yeah, right. no liquor. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. And plus, I don't like the way you look at Taylor. I don't like the way this. Right, down exactly. Yeah, I've, I've never been a big drinker either. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Even though I don't hang out with my staff, I love them to death. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. of course. So my people. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, of course. Roxy drink, G, right, Vegas. For sure. You know. Those, those are my people. So yeah. yeah. We just can't hang out like that. Absolutely. Right. There's nothing right. wrong with right. that, though. You got to mm-hmm. keep it uh, business and keep it professional at Definitely. the same time. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Now, were you here when Buster Rhymes was here? Oh, Buster. Buster Brown. I said Rhymes. Oh, oh Buster Brown. Buster Brown. I see him. <laughs> I was not here when Buster <laughs> right. Brown was here. Buster no, Brown. But that is my guy. That's, Buster that's, Brown. That's, that's, okay, that's my cool. Guy. Yes. Yes. I think who who got rid of first of all got the sticker you know mm-hmm. that she used to go crazy right, back of the shit, bumper right yeah. Yeah. What this sticker right here artist got expensive this sticker oh, right man. here artist yeah. got expensive I was young to go to what? Super Jam and I got old enough so she got canceled first of all Super Wait, Jam so Super Jam don't exist no more no we had to get rid of it artists got super expensive wow like, wow if we're gonna bring Super Jam y'all the audience right. y'all wanna see the Drakes. Right. Y'all want to see the Nicki Minaj. We want to see the right. Dreamville. At Dream an Bill affordable people. price. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. Right. But the f- the price is not affordable. Right. No. <laughs> and what, and what it used to be like $30. Like the, the, the we used to be able one. to get acts for free. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not no more. 
2024 is over for that. Man, I remember we the last just the last time we did Super Jam. I can say this now. So we lost. Okay, mm-hmm. I right. think the our headliner was Rick Ross, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so the next year, I mean, people wanted Wayne. They right. wanted Drake. Right. Like Drake was coming. They right. wanted just the big name. Right, right, right. So of course we called the labels. Like, right. Hey, we want da da da. Right. Yeah, that's gonna cost you five hundred thousand. Yeah, wow. that's gonna cost you a million. Right, yeah, that's gonna, gonna go you seven right, And I'm sitting back. here like, nigga, we in Greensboro. Right. <laughs> 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 right. 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 And remember, we weren't charging y'all, but no, like ten, twenty dollars to go to. So Thanks. if we were going to change it up at that's that real, time, we were going to have to charge y'all niggas two hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Coachella. Place. And let me tell you, uh, <laughs> businesses and com- big companies like this, they ain't taking no L, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. So right. we was like, <laughs> we was like, all right, so let's get rid of Super Jam. Right. Let's do a car show. Right. right. Yeah. So that's when we brought in the car show. Right. So the first year, this is when I had to put everything together with these car shows. Okay. So the first year, everybody was free except for two chains. And the person that got us two chains was him. He said. He's right. Like, so so Sud was like, yo, Mo, you know. Two changes is a something, some crazy amount. I was like, said, can't afford that. Don't even worry right. about it, brother. Just, can, can you yeah. just do it for like maybe 30? Right. So, so I went back to chains and he, he was like, yeah, yeah, he'll do it. Appreciate it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Playing so, the tray. Yeah, it might just be the, the damn label like, trying to text me. Well, hold on, don't clap yet. <laughs> oh, no clap. Don't There's clap more. yet. There's damn. more. It wasn't damn. 20 when he got the more, <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the more car shows we did, the bigger it got. That's oh, right. The of bigger course. it gets, the more money, money the artists want. want. Absolutely. That's, so, yeah. yeah, so we started taking L's. Okay? Yeah. yeah. But a uh, lot of the up and coming artists, like the baby, right. he opened two years in a row mm-hmm. for my car show. Right. So wow. then that built our relationship. Mm-hmm. And the very last one we did, he headlined. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's love. But do y'all want to know how much he cost the headline? The, the last lot? Was it over 30000 Oh, it reminds oh. Yes. Uh, remind you, we had to fly him to Orlando, too, because he was doing it as a favor for me. Who the hell? So, yeah. Like, what? The, so Jonathan? He said, Mo, look, I got to charge you 85 grand. Damn. Right? John. And I need, I need a plane, a private plane to get to John, Orlando. John, are we serious? Did it work out, though? It worked out. He okay. came. Oh, he showed up. Thing. Right. But did y'all lose or did y'all at least break it, even? It looked like we lost. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It looked like we won. Right, we right. We lost. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But it was it was a great time. Everybody enjoyed right, it. So. Right, 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 right. But right. then the next year when we, uh, well, I'm trying to. Budget out, right. right. Try to, and like, they went down on Ain't the budget. Ain't no private plane this year. <laughs> right. So Ain't no private plane. We didn't know about the goddamn. Right. So I'm bus. like. So they was like they came to me was like look Mo all Damn. we got is fifty thousand for you to do the car show I said fifty thousand yeah. I said it cost me a hundred and fifty to bring Gucci <laughs> what you want me to do here like for real what are we what are we talking about so then <laughs> I said we try show we, we keep trying to, them do, when that happens um, like do you go for sponsors like how do you make up the rest of the okay morning? so at the time I wasn't. I wasn't the program director. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Brian was the program director. Okay. This man does not believe in sponsorships. He just wants one or two jams, he everything, tripped. right? Damn. So we kept trying to tell him, especially me, Brian, listen, if Burger King want to fucking sponsor it, <laughs> let them sponsor. He was like, but then we got to say their names on the fucking promo and us. So, so what? what? Nobody gives a damn if one or two jam sponsored by it Burger don't King. Right. People we don't give a fuck. They just want to go to the show. When I then I hear people sponsor, eat Burger King. To me, that, yeah. I right. think that's a good thing. That yes. means that you're worth being sponsored. Right. Exactly. Like, so we was like, look, get all these sponsors, then we can afford to be large. Right. You want to do that. You yeah, want to do it. All right. So, you know, my boss said, all right, you don't want to do it. All right, 50000 that's it. Leave it or take it. I said, hey, right. Brian, come to me. Who do you think we can get for 50 grand? Tigo B, Luke Nasty. Let's see. Yeah. Any Carolina artist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Ain't going to yeah. bring you uh, 15,000 like people right. out there. Not no, no drink. They're yeah. Not. Yeah. Not. yeah. So, yeah. So, that was a wrap. After, <laughs> and we bought It was good. We had like five car shows. Yeah. It was nice. cool. Nice. You know Blue Ridge Polo Wine came to one of them. Yeah, right? he sure yeah. did. Yep. He came for free. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We brought him. Yep. That's what's up. That's fire. And then we tried Jam Fest with Wale and uh, some other people. Oh, yeah. We had Little Baby before when Little Baby first started. Oh, and Little yeah. Baby, this is the time when we did this shit in the hurricane. 
Right? Yeah, y'all. Oh, man. I, we were scared. <laughs> and little Baby was so that damn scared. And Jacquees. Them niggas didn't even show up. Oh, dang. They didn't even they show up. Some. So we had, so I thank God for Jerry Gilmore. Because he let me use his club. Yeah. And the next weekend, we brought little Baby and Jacquees down. Ah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, That's how you do it. Up. Nice you know little what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Yeah. But we lost that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then once we lost that. It was we're done. We were done with doing shows. Done. So now we'll just, we nah, just tag yeah. on the Dreamville or the Big Show or Springfield yeah. or whoever does the show. Damn. Yeah, that's, I, I do that's, have a question for you. Like, you have a Def Jam recordings. Um, who mm-hmm. do like, are you connected to them any type no, of way? No, they just that's sent me. New York in the No, they just sent me the hoodie. Just, you know, <laughs> nice. be nice. You know oh, so they sent it to you? Yeah, they sent it in. They just said it to be nice. Okay, so something I've noticed. Um, I was looking at your nails. I and was too. Oh, they are very clean. clean. They are very clean so and polished. What's the They're first thing really your ladies clean. look at? When, I mean, I notice when, them a lot. Okay, so I look at two things. I look at teeth. Yeah. Because I really have a problem with teeth. Mm-hmm. I love nice teeth. Um, but I also look at nails too. I look at nails too. Yeah. I really do. I notice nails a lot. And yours are super clean. Super clean. And they're polished. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. But ladies, listen, I'm I'm straight as mother. Okay? No, they don't. <laughs> Oh, look. No, that's hey, okay. they look no. like they just look like. Yeah. He's saying, we know that. Yeah. They know. To me, we though, know that. like a, a, a guy with dirty nails, I just can't. Exactly. It's just, it I'm sorry lot. because there's no reason why your fucking nails should be dirty. Yeah. yeah. My mama taught me that a long time And then, yeah, especially when even you think if you gotta do them yourself, ridiculous. it's fine. Yeah. It don't take much to get the little thingy. And that's all. Yeah, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not. I'm gonna tell you, man, my mother put me onto this and keep it on and my nail, my toe. Nails, Period. Like, your feet, right? Yeah, my feet. Yeah, and it's know. very relaxed. Listen, it's very relaxing. Fellas, it 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 a pedicure is relaxing as hell. And, and, this is, and I also yeah. wanted to get back to that. Like, too. is this? Yeah, she does. Yeah, I have so, a spa. Mm-hmm. We're going to get into oh, it. Oh, I didn't know this mm-hmm. part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull up and listen, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of like, I kind of want to go into like self-care. Like, what do you do um, for so yourself? Self-care. You know, mm-hmm. like what are some oh, things that well, you... Oh, well, the nails, definitely. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have no hair, guys. So I just cut my own hair. So, <laughs> and I just shave. Is that a part of your, your self-care? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, cologne. I love cologne. Love cologne? Uh, uh, I got you know, all types I know of what's your cologne. favorite. YSL. YSL. I love Yeah. I love, love YSL. Okay. Um, I got put on to something else, too, the other day. I went to the Ultra store. And she put me on this. I can't think of the name of it. But it smells really. It smells good. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like in a Sunday. water bottle. It's like a little water bottle. Okay. Oh, so nice. Oh, we got a ten percent teak wood like that. Yeah, they like get into it. That shit. But I, I love like that. I love cologne. I mean, I just like taking care of myself, man. I love sneakers. Good. Uh, don't look at my sneakers right now because I got my. Air Force Ones, this is my watch. But it's when fun. I go out and about, right. like, I always got some you fresh shit. You pop out? Okay, yeah. So are you the type that you would drop <laughs> like a band on an exclusive pair of shoes? I used to. Okay. Yeah, not anymore. Nah, not anymore. Right, I, I, yeah. I drop a band on poker before I do that now. Poker. poker. You be gambling? Yeah. So do you like yeah. be rolling dice and stuff like that? You I don't roll dice. Okay. I, I play poker. What so. about the okay. FanDuel thing? FanDuel? You, you, you going that heavy? Man, look. Man, <laughs> that's a good What's tea, What's tea like, sweetie? Yeah, all right, so fo- football, all right, college football. I was hitting first yeah. two, three uh, weeks. I already know. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm, on like, this. I'm winning like $15,000, $2,000. Right. I ain't win shit the rest of the season. <laughs> I mean, fuck this football shit, man. Like all my winnings shit. was gone. Mm-hmm. And then that's it was like, crazy. yo, try college basketball. Yeah. So I hit the first. First two games, That's first two ball games yeah. I hit. Right. And then I get the free money because you know the, it's, yeah. it's free now. Exactly. Right. I, I still like, gotta oh, claim my huh? See? And then I got, <laughs> I, got I got I had over like six hundred dollars in my account. Oh yeah? Yeah, ask me how I got now. Damn. Twenty five cent. Right. Damn. <laughs> Fucking UConn and all these dumbass teams. Right. We had a random ass thirty sitting there. Like what the heck? But no, nah, I, I so I, I go to the mountains a lot. I go to Cherokee a lot because Love they have it. the WSOP tournaments out there. Okay. Like, and I learned that on ESPN. I was watching ESPN. Oh, and wow. said They were playing for like $5 million. Right. So, so then I learned how to play poker yeah. and I travel a lot to play poker. Let's so I'm going nice. to Vegas in June. Um, have you went to, v- you know to right. VA and going out there to the... Um, 
I do. Um, you know what I'm talking about? I can't think oh, of yeah, the right Danville now. Casino. Yeah, because okay, you know, I've yeah. been out there plenty of times. Nice. Don't like going no more. Mm. But <laughs> I am going to go when they get that poker room. <laughs> Why uh, you don't like going no more? Uh, lost you know, when you lost a lot of money, you don't want to go back there. You don't want to go back there. Brings bad memories. Brings bad memories. So I just wait for the poker room to open. Right, right, right. What you know what you're doing. And know what I'm doing and know what I'm good at. Taking other people's money because you're not going to beat the house. Okay. I had to learn that the hard way. Okay, facts. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my I, I, I wanna learn a little bit. I'm scared though, because I'm the type I invest a lot already. Mm-hmm. Then, so if I can find something where I actually like my money is getting paid off right then, mm-hmm. I might that's, be broke. Mm-hmm. Wow. I understand. It's a, it's a, addicting goddamn. It's very addictive and it's uh make you happy, but it'll make you even fucking mad. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know it was like random niggas walking around mad as hell. Like <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, wait, man. I'm, I'm not a good loser. And I'm not a good loser. Like, people bro. are really walking around mad. Word up. Word up. Detroit, what you mad at doing for? Dude? Yo, like, my, the, first thing, the first thing when me and my girl go to Cherokee, she be like, did you win or lose? Right, right. And then, and then she, if I say I lost, you be like, all right, good night, nigga. Right. <laughs> now, if I say I won, yeah. she in a good mood with yeah. me. Yeah. But, but I'm telling you, because you already know, like. Don't talk real. to me, my nigga. Like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Don't talk to me. Don't add, don't tell me what I need to do with my motherfucking money. I know. I lost it. All right? You know, you know, you know, I'm thinking, you can think of, I'm going to get this shit back, my nigga. Like, exactly. so I got to get this shit back. All right, see, and I can't, I can't be in that headspace. Because exactly. who knows what I'll do? Damn damn trying right. to get my money back. Like, wait. Damn no. right. Yeah. Oh, man, that's cool, though. So, my last question for you tonight um, is, what advice would you give to aspiring um, radio hosts or podcasters? Yes. All right, so, radio hosts, if a nigga tell you you're not good, keep fighting and keep improving to them that you are good. You know what I mean? Because I, I had a nigga tell me that I would want to have a man. Right, 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 man. So, right there. So, you got to prove to that person that you are that, that nigga in the team. Keep fighting for what you believe in. You know you're good. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Now, podcast podcast is hard. Yeah, it's because it's oversaturated. And everybody's doing it. Yeah. Right. So your podcast, how does your podcast stand out from, the, from rest. the rest of the podcast? Mm-hmm. Like, what makes me not want to see Joe Button's podcast and make it watch yours? Right, right. So you have to figure out a way to be very entertaining. Which you're, and your guests can't be all boring and shit. Y'all. Right. Like no. guests, if you have a guest they can't. that can't we talk, know. And, <laughs> don't play that I'm shit. Be that shit. Man, yes. I've been rapping since I was two. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's so good. Everybody's a motherfucking <laughs> rapper. Okay. Like. Right. No. So, but but now, nah, but if you if you're doing a podcast <laughs> and you're starting it out, make it different from everybody else's. You know what I'm saying? So yours can stand out. Right. And right. and know how to really use social media to your benefit. Absolutely. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. For sure. That's that's what I would say for that. And wow. then my last question, um, I think a lot of artists are interested, especially, you know, in your role as the director of music. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you say for an up and coming artist, um, to I know what you're about to ask. You know what I'm about to ask. Right. All right, let me go ahead and sit over this <laughs> one. All right. What would help so, them so, Yes, what would help them get so, radio time, right. what would help them in general? What is your best advice? For an up and coming so artist. So I've I've told these artists this for years. Sometimes it goes in one ear out the other ear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Radio, our job, my job, is to find the most popular song right. in the country mm-hmm. and play it. What's gonna make me say no to playing this new Drake record that just dropped to your record that nobody even heard of? Right, right, right. My job in radio and my job really in one oh two at one oh two jams is to keep our numbers up. Correct. We have ratings to hit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. If I'm playing your record and niggas is turning you turning my station off, right. that's a problem. And they're turning you off because one, they don't like the record. Or two, it's because nigga, what the fuck is this? They it just won't it. It won't it. Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I have white people. I ain't gonna front. They're my sales. Mm-hmm. Right. They don't give a fuck what I play. <laughs> right. But they care what the numbers look like. They know, care they know about the numbers. numbers. Because the ratings is what's going to drive the revenue for the station. Correct. And thank God, knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are number one. Let's go. We are the top, we're yes. in the top 50 radio stations in the country. country. Okay. Yeah. And, Come on and now. And the only young urban station in the country. Wow, that's awesome. Stations. So we're calling. 
Okay. Yeah. They may y'all doing something right. But a lot of these local artists think that I'm hating. <laughs> I have no reason to hate it's them. Just this fucking body. How you gonna hate them? Like, no, why why, why, why would I? Thank you. That's what I be trying to tell them. Like, like, nigga, I, I don't know you. Never met you before. I've never met you before, So everybody got hated about And never met. It's all about relationships. We we mentioned this early in the podcast. It's about right. relationships. Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. So local artists, if you're listening, please listen to me. Send your record to every DJ that you could think of. Duran, Vegas, Flex, Special K. These guys are the ones that's in the streets every day. Yeah. Right. Playing at different venues. Absolutely. And playing different music mm-hmm. to see if they could get a vibe. That's how Lil Zach, who I just Lil met Zach. today, his record's been popping in the club for a year. It's right. been booming. And it's because he got relationships with the DJs, DJs. and they all play his records. And guess what? Deron or Vegas, they're going to call me and say, yo, Mo, you need to go ahead and put this on the rotation yeah. right. because we've seen the reaction right. to the joint. Okay, Just because your girlfriend, your <laughs> boyfriend, uh, your Whoever auntie, your mama said that, yo, right. that's a dope record. Right. That don't mean That is shit. radio yep. quality. Okay? For sure. That don't mean nothing to me. Right. All right, now, if you tell me, yo, Mo, Here's a video of people going crazy of my song. Niggas that don't even know me, and they rock. And they too. vibing out. That's, that's something. That's that's, that's, that's going to catch my work. attention. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sense. Yeah. Then I'm going to be like, huh, well, let me go and at least put it on Mix Show, see what the DJs feel about it, right. see the vibe about it. Right. You know? a lot, I, I just really happened to me like about two weeks ago. A nigga literally got done in the studio, drove up here to the radio station, and mm-hmm. dropped his song off. Wow. Okay. And said, yo, Mo, here's a hit record. That's by who? Wow. That's by who? By who? Who's, who? By who? Who's telling you there's a hit right. record? You think you just got done in the studio. You ain't done. <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's that's real. Real. You ain't done no investment. Hey, that's different. The I'm not going to lie. Is, the confidence is I love the confidence, wrong. but my but nigga, who's telling you? the checks and balances? Yeah, who's right, telling right. you this shit's a hit? You? Right. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to believe you. Like, and, and another thing yeah. artists need to know, this shit is not cheap. It's not. You have to invest in yourself. Yeah. And I don't mean $20 dinner, nigga. Like, I'm talking about 10 bands, 20 bands. Absolutely. You got to invest in yourself. If you could invest to take your ass to the strip club and throw ones up in the club. Designer. Designer head to toe. Right. And not even and playing your song in the club. Right. But exactly. you just want to throw ones up in the club. Money. Correct. Nigga, you can save that and, and invest in yourself. Absolutely. Inve- correct. Invest in in getting a, a DJ a shot at the club so he'll go ahead and play your record. Invest in giving that nigga a hundred dollars. Come on now. Come on now. I walked up to him one day and I bought him a shot and yeah. I just started chopping it up with him. That's why I be here. We locked in like that. Relationships is key. Like, <laughs> niggas don't realize relationships is key. I ain't gonna lie. I and did that. different dude. ways to build a relationship. <laughs> right. Everybody think, you know, you gotta go. It's certain certain ways but like you said a simple going up offering them a drink that's offering it. lunch or that's you know it. that type of that's situation it. because they real people too like that y'all want to be you know that what i'm saying like cater, don't. not catered to but you know treat it like someone special yeah. you know and don't and don't go up to the, the, the dj at the most like popping time in the club right, right. So knowing that they busy my right. like nigga you know they busy you should really right. come, you should really come a little early right. and i'm not gonna lie you should really throw them just a little right. change you know right. what I'm saying? that just really go to like look right. i'm really really serious they about my craft they're, For sure. exactly. they're not gonna forget you exactly it might be a little 40 but hey he right. put that in his little gas tank yeah you know what i'm saying yeah and i always tell artists this nigga i'm the last one you need to meet because know, really I'm not, real, I'm not though, playing your joint unless somebody, somebody other than somebody related it to you brought it to me. Brings it and to brings it to Like Lil Zach, CDK, and Deron brought, brought that, them to yes, the song so to me. Right. And Deron showed me a video of it. Yeah. So right. I'm like, okay, that hit's different. Yeah. All right, right. I'm going to have to write, yeah. check this one out. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, I can vouch for that one, though. Mm-hmm. Man, that's going like, to be the one. And that's it. Like I always saw, just coming to me last, nigga. Build yeah. your shit in the streets. You have to. You got your phone, bro. Like I hate when artists be like, no, tell me to listen to twelve though. songs. Like, nigga, I got time to hear twelve songs. Like, <laughs> and I 
at all. What's so single, bro? <laughs> exactly. Like, get to the one. Yeah, yeah, um, get to the I ain't one. Your brother. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Can you choose it for me? No, nigga. Like you, you Can't literally put all your songs on one. your phone, right. and the one that gets the most downloads, maybe that's the one you need to go with. Right. But then after you do that, now is your money right to go in and push it out on these streets? Facts. If your money ain't right, you don't even be doing this. I mean, that's just real. No, no that's just real. Like if your money, if you if your money right, just make music and just keep it at your house and yeah. just vibe to it yourself. Yeah, just, no, these yeah, are facts. Just, just you, you gotta have a bag. You got to. You got to have a bag. And I mean, I think that's the misconception a lot of people be trying. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's one thing to, uh, you know, have a passion for something. You can have great passion. That's right. But you gotta have a bag in the music industry. Right. Period. Like. Right. And social media makes it a little bit easier, I feel like. It does. You know, so it's a it's a way where you can stretch your money nowadays. Yeah. Back in the day that wasn't possible. So it's like if you're not spending no money, then you're not trying to yeah, go. You're nowhere. not serious. If you not. can't if you ain't gonna invest in yourself, who the fuck is? Exactly. Like, like, these are facts. That's real tough. Especially man. not record label. Yeah. <laughs> not getting no deal. Man, nigga. record label ain't nothing <laughs> but a bank, my nigga. A record they label. They really are. They'll give you two million dollars and you And think, you're gonna have to pay back three. Right. Damn right. Invest I mean interest. You damn. You right. gonna have to pay well, back. Right. Honestly, I would love for you to come back and do a part two with us, like come to Winston and maybe we can just so kind of talk break about down like more what artists need to be doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe do a segment like that. Um, mm-hmm. Well, we gonna have and we gonna have Chuck T this Sunday. Him and Chuck mm-hmm. T. Them that's two. my guy. That's my yeah. brother. They would be really good. Yeah. yeah. Me and Chuck D, you know, Chuck D does uh, music conferences at the Charlotte yes. Hornets. Yeah. That's, so once yep. a year, he always calls me like, Mo, can you please come talk yep. to these dumb niggas? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we were just at the last one because I actually manage and I have an artist. And so we were at the last one. Okay. Uh-huh. And, um. The guy who we just saw, uh, he was Fat with G's. the dress. Fat G's, that's my yes, afternoon Fat job. G's. I couldn't mm-hmm. remember. I didn't know if that, okay, yeah, yeah but yeah, I think he, was, G's was there, he was on the B-Dot panel. Was there, B-Dot was on Wally the panel. was there. Wally, Wally was there all the time. Wally wasn't on the panel this time, though. Right, he was but just yeah, there he was there with yeah. his artists. We, well. we all try, that's one thing about all of us, like Chuck T, myself, Incognito, the programmer, Cat programming, Riley. We all try. We're like a big ass family. Fat. So we As always talk. You know what I'm saying? So if I never get this Fetty Wap, He's locked up right now. I don't give a fuck about it. But he was locked <laughs> up. But he was supposed to show up at um, a Charlotte spot that Incognito was doing he something. He might hear this. Mm-hmm. Right? That's cool. <laughs> he, 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 he didn't show up. Right. You know right. so if He just, no call, no show, no name. Right. So Incog calls me. And at this time, I'm playing birthday by Fetty Wap. Right. So he's like, no, he didn't even show up, man. I'm taking his music out. You got me? I know that's All right, right cool. Well, <laughs> check it out. Like, we got to stick together. We got to. You know what I mean? Got to. It's funny you bring this. So, who are some of your favorite artists that you rubbed elbows with? Or favorite artists? That's a good question. You rubbed elbows with me. Yeah. 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 Let's see. All right, so guys I got a relationship with or just cool people? Or, yeah, somebody you know you just met, like, they a genuine down to person. Like, I oh, didn't expect that for sure. T.I. Like, T.I. Okay. Cole, yeah, Cole. Uh, Jeezy, that's my guy. Okay. Um, Jeezy's lit. I love Jeezy. Um, that's my uncle. Jeezy. Jeezy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the baby. Yeah. Um, that's my cousin. Tigo. <laughs> Tigo. Tigo B. He's Tigo a, from around here. That's yeah, my brother. Yeah, he is from around here. Yeah. I broke like his record. Like, I you don't should know. interview him. You we should. You he, should. He, he has his own restaurants now. And, like, yeah, Romeo's. Tigo. Did he have, did nice. he have shoes too? Mm-hmm. Uh, he did he have shoes? Yeah. 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 He was doing a few little things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can him have dinner yeah. with him one night. Yeah, Tigo cool. We should host the dinner. How about that? Try to think for us. 21 Savage, cool as shit. 21 Savage, I love him. Like, yeah. He's really real. Can I say real. this, though? No, I really love 21 someone. Savage is cool, but 21 Savage is a boring performer. Oh, yeah, most definitely. He is. Like, he's a cool guy. But I feel oh, like that's a yeah. part of, like, I mean, I just feel like he's just boring. if you know him, you know it's going to be boring. <laughs> right, yeah. right. You know it's boring. But, but he's he's cool, though. Cool, I fuck with him, though. But I really, I do. Um, I fuck with him, so you can tell he's cool. Yeah. yeah There's a, a couple more. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think female-wise who's cool. Chloe's cool. She Aww, cool. Chloe. Um, Chloe Bailey. Sierra. I met Sierra a long time. What? Sierra? Long time. No, Sierra. Before Russell. I mean, she do. Look, she do say <laughs> why she's cool. Um, I know it's Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy. Is Trick Daddy. Really He's been wild and lately. All right, he's no. lit. Yeah. He's lit. I and would I'm just love thinking, to see. And him. I'm talking about people just like real cool. Like if yeah. I text them, they always gonna text back. Right. That's what's up. And they never about music. Right. Those relationships. relationships. Exactly. And it's not about music. Right. Now, yeah, I have certain artists that would just text me because they got a song coming out. Right. Right. These artists I'm mentioning just asking like, how life? are you? You good? You know, right. You Where right. you been? Right. I right. To right. You in exactly. Those are the cool ones to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Before he died, proof. 
Right. So, okay. Um, D12. D12. Wow. Um, that is. Eric Sermon. Super cool dude. That's old school right there. I don't know if they know him. DMX was cool as shit. I was going to ask you about it. Listen, I love DMX. DMX. I know DMX is cool. cool. Damn, I, I wanted DMX. to meet him. Right, Peter right. Super cool. He came up here. Damn. And we, we, just, we just hit it off, man. Right. right. You know what I mean? He probably was like... We told, we told them don't, we told them don't cur- they, they told us it was like yo whatever you do do not put DMX live on the radio cause he's gonna curse yeah right right you know and he gonna that, curse we had a pre-recorded that nigga cursed every, every word did y'all blank it out no, yeah we couldn't even hardly play we couldn't play for the music yeah it's like shit oh man Nas Nas was a really good Nas. Nas I'd be disappointed if he went cool I'm like, yeah oh. And the crazy, cool thing about Nas, we don't play none of his fucking music. Oh, I say, yeah, right. we don't. You know, but I'm, we I, met, I, we I met never, in L.A., and we've been cool ever since. Y'all but, never play Ether? No, I heard my Ether, time. I heard Ether on Ether was on the radio. It was. It was I'm before my say, time. Yeah, I was going to say, I, that <laughs> was the one thing, because I remember uh, uh, the whole... Uh, fuck Jay Z. Yeah. I think they, I think yeah, they broke Ether only. I feel oh, like... Yeah, yeah. That's the first time I, I heard just, it. I heard it. I definitely the heard guys, it on the radio. Buster's cool. Mm-hmm. Buster wow. Rhymes, Buster yeah, I can see that. Cool. I can see that. Knife Wonder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of Knife course. Is, that's yeah, family. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Family. Yeah. family. So what's up? So, I got to add. Well, so what's up with up north niggas in North Carolina? Do y'all be like, man, shit, I'm going to go to North Carolina in about five years. Shut <laughs> up. Down there. You got to understand, North, North Carolina oh, cheap as shit compared to New York. Y'all, you know it's like a time limit. Like, very affordable. I'll be telling people that. Don't play with us. The only reason, the reason I moved down here was because I wanted to play football at A&T. Okay, and then yeah. it was between A and T and Hampton, okay. and then yeah. my, my aunt she went to A and T, so I was like, well, "Okay, that's not A and T." Y'all can't be. And Coach Hayes okay, really baby. recruited me. Yeah, here. so A and T is good school though. Yeah. I love A and T. So that's what. That's the only reason I love. I wanted to stay in New York, man. Trust me. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I wanted to stay in oh, New yeah. York at the time. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to stay. I wanted to stay in New York. Yeah. I wanted to stay in New York. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
me and Wally. Yeah. So we took him to the um to the joint to the club. He played how it's going down. You can see people was just like, oh man. Then he started doing that little dance. Right, right. Thing. It, it, what? It was that's a wrap after that. That was it. I'm I was like, you, that's out of here. We added it like, immediately. What? Yes. But honestly, though, yes, I sir. feel like that's a, a little nugget, too. Like, having a little dance a little with your song. Mm-hmm. For sure. TikTok. It's going to yeah, put you in the game. Type but see, it's TikTok. different, though, now, because back the then it was just one little. Now they yeah. got a full eight count. I can't keep up. Get it sexy. Real live choreography. Exactly. Oh, God, bro. The new Megan Thee Song with Glorilla. Yeah. They, the, the, everybody's twerking again. Yeah, everybody's twerking again. Like, yep, 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 yep. I mean, yep. Yep. it got me in trouble the other day. I'm on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just seeing girls twerk. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I'm just scrolling. <laughs> like, shit. Nobody really said this shit to me. That's oh, everybody's twerking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> But that that's the way Thank that's it's so place. easy. It's, it's so easy to find music now because it's just TikTok and Instagram, that's social hilarious. media and just make it work. It you know? <laughs> you know, get you in trouble though. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. wrap it up, man. You've been in radio twenty plus years. Mm-hmm. What did what would you say has been the most rewarding part? Of your career. money? No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. I mean, I mean, I, I started, I started kind of low, you know. Niggas put their bands, baby. The bands got a little bit bigger. Yo, that'll make it. No, no. Honestly, we was at Dreamville and uh, drank and Jesus scrolling. What really drank was like, Mo, look, man, look, we know you getting money. No, this this year. He's like, look, I know you get money, but God damn, boy, them Air Force Ones fucked up. And then Jesus was like, nigga, he don't give a fuck about that. He right. worried about his money. He's going to Danville for the casino. He don't right. give a fuck about that. But now, it, besides the money, for real, nah, for me, it's the money. Um, <laughs> that was the thing. I went, nah, it's the, the transition. Because when radio first started, it was all about how can you make radio fun and entertaining mm-hmm. because you didn't have social media at the time when I started. You right. know what I'm saying? And now everybody got social media, so it was like, so how can you bring this story to life on the radio that everybody kind of already knows? Mm-hmm. But how are you going to say your opinion of that story? Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the transition to that, because I remember overnights, nigga, I used to have to fight to stay up. Like, I was on the <laughs> internet <laughs> trying, yeah, yeah like trying coffee and alive. trying to find shit, you know? Right. And, and well, these well, days, like, I wish I worked overnights now because it's so into, you got YouTube, yeah, you got all types there. of things. Like right. You know, but the Z and, and the social media aspect, as far as us taking more pictures and making it relevant on on social media, mm-hmm. like you know, the Dreamville, for instance, we had to like really put pictures out there when we were doing radio back in the day. Nobody gonna fuck about pictures. Yeah, I ain't we know just trying to make sure like that, that the radio sounded good. Yeah, exactly. so that's that's been the big transition mm-hmm. of. From when I first started radio to now, right. it's just and it's changing every day. It changes every it does. with the music, with, yeah. with the with the culture, right? Everything, every day changes. I wake up tomorrow, it's probably gonna be something else new. Yeah, it right. is. You know what I mean? It is. I do have one last question. I'm interested mm-hmm. to know, like, when it comes to the content of music, mm-hmm. like, are you? Do no. you ha- <laughs> if it's right. a hit, it's a hit. Right. I already know you about to come. Yeah. I remember get we was in Charlotte for Chuck T's event, uh-huh. and someone asked. It was like four of us programmers, right. about the content, and uh-huh. you have to be careful what you play. Right. So the programmers, all of them was like, "Yeah, we gotta be sure. You gotta be super clean. Blah blah blah." Right. So, so they was like, so Mo, what about jams? I was like, shit, nigga, we don't give a fuck, right? We don't play. Shake nigga. That damn show was going to say fuck on the radio. So everybody started laughing, and yeah, Waleed got please. up, and Waleed was like, you're not damn right. That's how we came up. I learned that from yeah. Brian Douglas. Okay. I, because I look yeah. at it like this. On your phone, these kids, I mean, I remember when I was a kid. Right. So I, my first... Uh, album was Snoop Doggy's Doggy Style. Okay? Facts. And I used to play that shit yeah. real low because yeah. it was so dirty. Right. If I was going to listen to it, right. my mom and dad weren't going to take that from me. Right. So if we're playing a song that's super dirty, mm-hmm. and yeah, we clean it up and take the F and the S out and all that. Right. These kids, when they go on their phones, they're going to hear the dirty version. They, still they, ain't, cha- they ain't looking they for the clean. Gonna, they're not. So it's there it like, is. Yeah, what's, yeah. Thanks. You know, I mean, thanks. trust me, we've gotten a lot of trouble. I ain't got a lot of trouble. We've gotten some trouble. But some playing. controversy. You know, back that, not back that ass. What was that Trina song? Uh, uh, Look Back At It. Yeah. 
you know, early Thank Sunday morning, you hear it, look back at it, big ass on the plane. Yeah, what about Kyle? Oh, my neck, my, my neck, neck, my neck, my back, neck. My back. Yeah, you know, you got to show it for that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Throat baby. Throat baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made a whole yeah, new Cleaver. They did. I think it was in Raleigh, and they played. It wasn't throat baby. It was yeah. throat baby, but they yeah. said something else something said else. throat. Right. I, I I know which one you're talking about. That yeah, version. Yeah, that yeah. super clean. And I'm like, nigga, fuck that. <laughs> We're playing throat baby, <laughs> right? right? Yeah, but right. I remember the program director for Cat. He yeah. was like, man, y'all be playing on the board of FCC <laughs> violation. Hey. Hey. We've been doing this for years. Exactly. Right. We ain't crossed the line. And a lot of people don't know this. After 10 o'clock, you can play Dirty Virgin songs on the radio. Yeah, you can. Oh, it do be getting yeah. real nasty at late time. Yeah, yeah. you that, can. That, 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 that's the I ain't going to radio. Right. It does. The, the, only thing, the only thing I ever complained about my boss, my old boss, Brian, was mm -hmm. that he wanted us to say the, the N-word on the radio. He did? Yeah, and I like... That comfortable? I like, listen, bro. No, bitch. And Brian is a short white guy. And I'm like, Brian, Brian listen. Yeah. Brian, listen, bro. Brian. I can't even let you fly with saying the name of the N word right, on the radio. Right, no, on the radio. No. Then I'm like, who you gave you approval? He's like, this but, right here. but his thing he was like, well, they're going to hear it anyway, Mo. I was like, yeah, but they don't want to hear it on radio on the radio. Yeah, Brian. you don't, you don't nah. say the N word, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, you want to say fuck shit, bitch? All right, cool. <laughs> you don't say the N word. Yeah, don't disrespect my niggas. Right, right. Exactly no, only I can say that shit. Only I can say that <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, but that that was the only thing. But I don't care. I don't care about content. Now. If it's a hit, it's a hit. It's gonna bring ratings, and I'm with the ratings. Yeah. So, oh, y'all heard it here. That's one or two jams. Right. We appreciate you so much. This was Thank a vibe. Me. Thank you for you having have me. A lot of knowledge. Yeah, appreciate Part it. Part two on the way. I'm with it. Um, all right, so on the way. With it. But yes, tell the people where they can find your um, Instagram and all that information at. So Instagram is simple at B-I-G-M-O-1-0-2. Again, at B-I-G-M-O-1-0-2. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. And on Facebook, y'all niggas, they get in my government. So you just get Mo <laughs> Maurice. And that's it. <laughs> big Mo, the biggest. <laughs> the biggest. All right, y'all. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and of course, we're on YouTube. Consume Media. Oh. Instagram. <laughs> and Instagram. How can I forget our biggest platform? Right, <laughs> Make sure y'all follow us, though. Peace.